So I am going to release some functionality. So that's the reason I wanted to inform everybody so that they start using the Salesforce, this particular functionality. That is the product awareness, okay? And in that conference call for the thousand members, I'm making them to aware what is the product that we are releasing it. So how can I know what is the result of product awareness, whoever is attended the campaign? Campaign could be a direct or it could be an indirect. Any other questions yesterday? One last question. Yeah. Different pre sale activities means like ad advertisement directly, yes. directly, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So today we are going to see. Let's start the today's session. Offline, any questions for yesterday's one? Okay, let's start the session. Today, Salesforce Consulting Admin Training, day four. Okay, so today's agenda is, we are going to talk about again marketing in Salesforce because yesterday we have seen only how to create a campaign. How to create a campaign. And we will talk more about today and we will see example of lead. How can I create a lead? Now, what is the campaign outcome? What is the campaign outcome? And what is the lead? What is the lead cycle? How can I create a lead in Salesforce? Salesforce lead creation demo. Then we will see the marketing cloud architecture. Yesterday, we have discussed about the campaign and campaign member relationship. What is a campaign campaign member relationship, guys? One is two. One is two. One is two. One too many. One too many. Two. One too many. Yes. Now, Today, we'll see marketing cloud architecture. It is a part of the design also. And then we'll talk about the Salesforce release. Then we'll talk about the homework and quiz, trial headlines, today interview questions. Now, yesterday we have started the marketing cloud in Salesforce. Now, marketing cloud, what is the marketing cloud? Managing marketing activities in Salesforce. Managing marketing activities in Salesforce is called marketing cloud. So what are the different type of marketing cloud in Salesforce? What campaign, are the campaign and lead. Campaign and lead. Campaign and lead. lead. Yesterday we have seen campaign. How to create a campaign. Right, how to send the emails to the contact that are linked to the campaign. That's what we have seen. Now, today our focus is on the lead. Today, our focus is on the lead. Now, let's say example of lead. When I say example of lead, how the leads are generated. Right? Like, I'll take a same example. I'm planning to do a Salesforce event. I'm planning to do Salesforce event. For Salesforce event, I'll try to see how can I get more audience for the Salesforce event. So where are the more audience I can get it? Like a WhatsApp, Facebook, right? 
in our company, whomever I'm working with, everybody is my audience. Like I'm going to post the, that message in the WhatsApp groups and also in the company. I'll update my uh, whoever is I'm working with them. So I'll update them even in the Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn. What are the social media activities are there? I'm going to post them in those activities and we'll say them like I'm going to do a Salesforce event next month, right? I'll inform everybody. This activity start if I'm planning to do Salesforce event April 31st or April 30th, then my work has to be started before a month. My work has to be started before a month. Now, once that is started, that means I have to do this work a month before so that I'll be prepared for the Salesforce event. I'll be prepared for the Salesforce event. Now, whenever I'm saying this information, I'll send a details to the, that means a form will be sent to the person, whether it is a WhatsApp people or whether it is a working professional, whether it is a Facebook, I'll send a, a form to the, those candidates, like whoever is, I'm talking to them. That means I'm trying to get the information like who are ready to attend that Salesforce event. Now, why do I need to know that who all are attending the Salesforce uh, event? Because I need to know the count. I need to know the count. Who, how many members are attending the Salesforce event? Based on that count, I'll be looking for the conference room or conference hall. Right? So I'll be booking in the in the uh, hotel, so like a conference hall. So whether it is, we do we need a small or a big or like based on the count of the members who are attending it, based on that, I can book a conference call so that everybody can fit into that. So that's the reason I'm going to know the registration. And another one is, at least I'll know from the registration form who are really interested. Okay, maybe they are in, interested or not interested, they have filled the form. That means they are somewhere is looking, maybe it's not right now, in future might be they need this kind of a information. So th those are the activities which we are going to do in the registration. Now, once the registration is done, okay, registration could be a online, registration could be a offline. If it is a online, like a Facebook or an Instagram or a WhatsApp group. So for them, I'll be sending in a registration form. So they will be filling the form. So that is a online. Whereas the people whom I'm working with the company, okay, in the company, I'll be having a casual discussion, like a direct discussion I'll be having. Whomever I'm having a direct discussion, I'll be giving a registration form to them. So registration can be happen offline or online. Once the registration is done, once the registration is done, assume that registration is done in the online. Once it is done, then I'll be sending a notification email to the audience. Notification email to the audience saying that, okay, on April 30th, I'm going to do the Salesforce event from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now, till this point, whatever we have discussed, till this point, everything is comes into the marketing. Till this point, everything comes into the marketing. Now, once this is done, once this is done, then we are going to have a meetup. That means the day has come. We are doing the Salesforce event. We are doing the Salesforce event. Now, in the meetup, I'll be explaining all the Salesforce new products or a new functionality, or I can also explain the, the training which I'm giving, everything I'm explaining it. So the content, whatever I wanted to deliver in the Salesforce event, I delivered the content. So it is around that six hours of meetup, six hours of meetup. So in, after six hours, the end result, that means end of the meeting, I'm going to get the details of the persons 
who are interested like after the event possible that in meetup thousand members came into the meetup but out of thousand members possible that 900 members might be interested okay 100 100 members they feel that okay this is not useful for me possible that so whoever is interested okay if sometimes what happens is when the people are not interested also they will give the they will give the contact details right so i'll take everybody's contact information whoever is attend the meetup that means whenever i'm getting the person whenever i'm getting the person whoever is whoever is interested we will take all the details about it Right. This is the how I'll get the leads. That means I'm conducting a campaign here. This is called campaign. I'm conducting a campaign. This is the campaign I'm conducting it. Date is on April 30th. Start date is same day and end date is also same day, April 30th. On this day, I'm conducting a campaign. It is in the progress and active. Once the once the campaign is completed, what I'm doing is I'm collecting the leads. I'm collecting the leads. Here, leads is nothing but the person who is interested, might not be interested or might be interested, all the people details, I'm connecting it. So that means whenever I'm doing the campaign, whenever I do the campaign, through the campaign, I'll get interested persons details. I'll take the interested person details. So that's how the lead gets created. So campaign outcome is a interested persons. Company is conducting a campaign, but out of output for that campaign is how many members are registered for the future events, for the future events, or how many members are ready to use the product. So campaign output is interested person. Now, I'll take a break here. So all the interested person we will get out of the campaign. So is that clear how we are getting the leads? And what are the scenario that we have discussed before the session? Yes, ma'am. Offline? How we are getting the leads, is that clear? Okay, now let's see, lead. Now we have seen how to capture the lead, from where do we capture the lead? Now the next part is, what is the lead? In Salesforce terminology, in technical, what is the lead? Lead is nothing but an inquiry. An inquiry about business, an inquiry to the business. For example, you wanted to learn a Salesforce. So you will go to the different institutes. So, and then you will start investigating it, inquiring it. That means you are inquiring the sales force in the different institute. So whatever the inquiry related to the business, related to the product, related to the company, whatever you do is nothing but a lead, is nothing but a lead. Lead is a consist of suspects and prospects. There are two types of a leads. Not only in the sales force, you take any in generic. You take any generic. So there are two types of leads. That means there are leads which are who all are suspects and who are prospects. Now, what is the suspects and what is the prospect here? Suspect is nothing but people who are doubtful. People 
who are doubtful like for example i am doing the enquiry about the sales force or i am doing the enquiry about the company before joining the company and just enquiring that for example my joining date is on 24th of april in infosys before joining the company i'll try to connect with the people who are working in the infosys i'll start enquiry that how is the company whether it is good or not what is the working hours everything i'll start enquiry right that means let's assume that i have a got a opportunity from three companies i got a job opportunity from three companies infosys dell and wipro these are the three companies i got a job offer now i am doing the enquiry about all three companies all three companies but that is not i am i am i am doing the enquiry but i am not saying that i definitely join the company because i have a three offer letters from three company i have a three offer letters i might join dell i might join infosys i might join wipro but i am not saying that if i do a enquiry i'll join here only no that is nothing but a suspect i'm doubtful i i don't know right now i cannot take a decision right now but i wanted to do the enquiry i wanted to do the enquiry so which is nothing but suspect suspect is nothing but people who are doubtful prospect is nothing but people who might be interested in company or who might be interested in product who might be interested in people who might be interested in training that means they are out of 100% 95% they are interested to join this company 95% they they are interested to join this institute 95% they are interested to join take this product okay 95% they, this person might talk to the other person prospect is nothing but who might be interested suspect is doubtful so these are the two different leads are there so it's not only the salesforce terminology you take any marketing or any technology leads are divided into two types suspect and prospect suspect is nothing but doubtful prospect is nothing but might be interested in the person or a product or a company or a institute right that is the prospect now right now we are going to see the lead cycle now so far so far i have so let's go to the paint now so far i have understood the lead now i have understood the lead so that means i have a lead here who are suspect who are who are suspect or who are prospect leads are there there are leads now these leads are could be a suspect or a prospect now these leads whatever the leads that we are seeing here we need to convert them as a opportunity now this leads need to be converted as a opportunity when i say converted as a opportunity that means this person is definitely going to buy a product this person is definitely going to buy a product opportunity opportunity now from here to here now i got a lead i received a lead the person is interested in the product he is looking at the different products but one product he kept it aside okay the person has went to the shopping mall and he is looking for 10 products out of 10 products he said that one product keep it aside i might take it keep this product aside i might take it but along with that i wanted to see other products also 
Now this person is, now he became a lead. That person might take a product. Now when this, when this, when we know that this person might take a product, now that means this lead is getting a converted to the opportunity. That means opportunity is nothing but I'm sure the person is going to take the product. I'm going to get a budget. All the budget details are sits into the opportunity. I'm going to get a budget. So that means through the opportunity, through the opportunity, the budget, product, everything will be linked here. Product, budget, everything will be linked in the linked in the opportunity. Now, in between this, in between this, we have a certain life cycle. That means there are some steps. There are a steps here. So they have to cross these steps. Every customer has to cross these steps. So this step is called as a life cycle. Lead life cycle. Lead life cycle. Which is nothing but lead cycle. In the lead cycle, we have a certain steps. We have a certain steps. When you go to the manual, manual might not need it. But when you go to into the online, okay. So in online also, you are looking at the 10 product in the Amazon. 10 product, you are reviewing it. When you are reviewing the 10 product, you will see that out of 10 product, you will see that one product is... You will keep it as a add to cart. One product, you will put it as a add to cart. That means I'm interested into the this product. So that's the reason I have added here add to cart. Add to cart. So that means out of 10 product, I have pushed the one product to the add to cart in the Amazon. That means I might buy that product maybe today or tomorrow after one month or after one year. I don't know, but I might buy the product. Now, when we when Amazon knows that we they this person might buy the product of this related to this, then internally there is a lead cycle will be there. That means already I am a lead to the Amazon. Already I am a lead to the Amazon lead to the Amazon because I'm showing an interest on one product. I'm showing an interest on one product. I'm already lead to the Amazon. Now before in within the Amazon, before they convert my lead to the opportunity, that means in the opportunity budget details will be there, product details will be there. So before I convert, I have to go through the lead cycle because sometimes what happens is people they will add the product here. After 10 days, they remove the product from the add to cart. They remove the product from add to cart. So that's the reason in technology, in Salesforce, we have a certain lead cycle. We have a lead cycle. Now lead cycle, there are seven stages are there. Lead cycle has a seven stages. Lead cycle has seven stages first one is a lead generation first one is a lead generation second one is a lead capture second one is lead capture and the third one is lead filtering the third one is lead filtering and the fourth one is lead grading fourth one is lead grading and the fifth one is lead contact. Fifth one is lead contact. And the sixth one is lead nurturing. Lead nurturing. And the last one is a lead conversion. Lead conversion. So these are the seven steps we have. These are the seven steps. Lead generation, lead capture, lead filtering, lead grading, lead contact, lead nurturing, lead conversion. By the time I reach lead conversion, 
by the time I reach lead conversion, we are like a hundred percent sure that this person is going to be converted as an opportunity. By the time I reach here, lead conversion, I know that this person is genuine. Because how do I know that whether the lead is a genuine lead or not? Whether the lead is a genuine lead or not? Whether this person is really interested or not? So in order to identify whether the lead is genuine or not, then we have to go through the seven stages. We have to go through the seven stages. Now we'll see one by one, what are these seven stages? What are these seven stages? So these seven stages, the first one, let's see the first one. The first one is a lead generation. In the lead generation is nothing but how the leads are generated in the system. Lead generation is nothing but how the leads are generated in the system. That means where is the place? Place where leads are generated. That means in Salesforce, the leads are generated from campaign. Could be a direct campaign, could be an indirect campaign. So leads are generated from campaign. So lead could be a direct campaign or could be an indirect campaign. Let's assume that I am conducting the Salesforce event. When I conducted the Salesforce event, that means I am doing the campaign. When I am doing the campaign, assume that there are 100 members came into the campaign. 100 members came to the campaign or everybody has attended the campaign. Total 100 members came to the campaign. So that means from the campaign, whoever is came to the campaign, from that, I'll get a minimum information from them. I'll get a data. So that means first thing, whenever I conduct an event, the first thing I'll let allow the people to come, right? So I'll say that, we, at the before starting the session or before starting the event right my team is going to give a count there how many members are came for this campaign we will count it 100 members came for the campaign so that means that is a general that means there the lead has been created we got a leads there so that means 100 leads we got it from this campaign when we got a leads there Okay, next stage, stage is lead capture. Next stage is lead capture. So for the lead capture, we will try to capture the minimum data because the first thing in the campaign, we'll try to get the first name, last name, email ID and the signature. But right? this is the minimum data we get it from the members. Whoever is attended the event, whoever is attended the event, from those members, I'll try to capture the minimum data, which is nothing but wherever I'm capturing the minimum data is nothing but lead capture. Minimum data is nothing but lead capture. I'm capturing the lead there with the minimum information. Once I capture the lead, then I'll start filtering it. That means the internal team, Right, so I'll start filtering it. So filter, how I'll be doing it. Filter is nothing but cleaning the leads. Cleaning the leads. Now I received the 100 leads, but out of these 100 leads, how many are genuine leads? How many are genuine leads? That means here, filter, I'm doing it. I'm doing the filter. Now in the lead, we have a one of the field called rating. One of the field called rating. If you open the lead, there is a one field called rating. In the lead, in the rating, rating is a pick list field. Rating is a pick list field. So in the rating, we have a values called hot, warm, cold. Hot, warm, cold. This is the one of the cleaning process, filtering process. This is the 
one of the filtering process. That means who are really interested on this lead? The people who came to the the people who came to the campaign who are really interested. That means I'll be using the one of the criteria called rating. Rating has hot, warm, and cold. Now, how do I know that whether the rating is hot or warm or cold? How do I do that? So whenever you say rating equal to hot, that means the person is really interested. The person is really interested to learn the sales force. He is dedicated to the sales force. The person is dedicated to the sales force. Whenever I say rating equal to warm, whenever I say rating equal to warm, the person is interested, but he is not dedicated. He wanted to learn the sales force but he cannot put 100% dedication to the sales force because he has a lot of other commitments. So he is not that dedicated. Rating equal to, rating equal to cold. That means the person is joined because of the, their parents' force. Their parents said that you need to get a job in next, uh, this year or next uh, six months. So that's the reason there is no option. The person has joined in the sales force. The person has joined in sales force. And for this rating equal to cold people, we have to do a lot of motivation in order to let them to try. Because first of all, there is no interest for that person. So we have to motivate those people. We have to motivate these people. Now, like this, we will do the lead filtering. Now we will divide the people who are really dedicated, who are real, who are just interested, but they cannot spend 100% dedication there. The person who are not interested, they just joined it by just by forcing their parents. So we will divide these leads. So that filtering kind of a things happens. Filtering is going to happen. Once the filtering is done, once the filtering is done, then we will do the grading. We will do the grading, lead grading. Lead grading is nothing but we will categorize. We will categorize. Now we have divided, we have cleaned the leads. In this stage, we have cleaned it. Now I know who are the leads, what kind of a leads I got it, I know that. Now next part is we are going to categorize the lead. Now categorize the lead is nothing but based on certain conditions based on certain conditions. Now, conditions might be differ from the business to business, product to product. Let's take a here sales for training, okay? Now here I have it based on the condition. Maybe let's take a, I wanted to buy a product. I wanted to buy an iPhone 14 product, iPhone 14 Pro. Now here, in this case, I wanted to put a condition. In the lead grading, the first condition is a finance. That means whether this person, now I know that this person want to buy iPhone 14 Pro, but will this person is able to pay, is capable to pay all the amount at one time? Whether the person is able to pay the amount at one time in order to buy the product or he wanted to go with the some amount paying right now, some amount later. So that is the one criteria we have in the lead grading. So one criteria is finance. Like this, there are a different criteria are there. So in this case, finance is the criteria. Now here, if you look at it, lead capture, we were having a hundred members. When we filter it, when we filter the things, the people were reduced. The people who are really impressed is reduced. Now, when we are doing the grading, so when we do the grading, the people here, it became a 50 out of 100. When I'm doing the campaign, 100 members are, came to the campaign. Now, when we do the lead grading based on the condition called finance, that time, it the people are reduced to the 50. People are reduced to the 50. Now, next one is a lead contact. Next one is a lead contact. Now, lead contact is nothing but 
lead contact is nothing but now if you observe this the first two if you observe these two first two what we are doing here i am capturing the minimum data on the first two i am capturing the minimum data i am capturing the minimum data like a first name last name email id signature this kind of a data i am capturing when they came from when they are attended the campaign and when we are cap capturing the lead that time we just captured the minimum data but in this scenario lead contact lead contact is basically we are building that means we are contacting the prospectives we are contacting the prospectives here pro prospectives are nothing but what is a prospect is nothing but interested people interested people who are almost about to buy interested mm -hmm. people who are almost wanted to buy a product or a join a class or join the company so people almost interested person now i'm going to build a relationship with those candidates build a relationship with those leads how i'm going to build it to get more by getting the more information because on the starting i have only the minimum information here i'll be calling the person and getting the more information about the person more information about the person for example if you are joining the company if you are joining the company when you are doing the interview you have given a minimum information now once you got the offer letter when you go for the first day to the company you have to give so much of data like a three four pages of data you have to fill it because you are a prospect you are a prospect for that company you are interested in that company to work on it so you are a prospect now company started building a relationship the person the employee how they are going to build a relationship where you are going to give a more information about the you are in your details similarly if you want to join any course okay initially you will give minimum information now by going on you have to give a more information more information is nothing but once the course is completed right you need to give your experience uh, whatever the certifications or whatever you are doing the uh, whatever you have completed the education everything you need to give more information to them not the certification but you need to give your background what you have done which one you have completed how much gap how what was your previous exp previous experience those all kind of a things you have to specify because now the stage is that you are going to in a position that where you are going to get a job so for that we need a more information from you so how we are doing it that is called as a by building the relationship that is called lead contact through the lead contact that means building a relationship with the candidates and the company we can capture the more information that is called as a lead contact that is called as a lead contact now once the lead contact is done lead contact is done that means now i have a at least here few members now here we did a grading so assume that few members are financially they will, they do not want they are interested but financially they do not want to take right now maybe in the future they will be taking it so when i reach to the lead contact the more people are reduced here now lead nurturing the next one is a lead nurturing lead nurturing is nothing but feeding more details in the system feeding more details in the system that means final confirmation is done lead contact is done now whatever i have taken the information i am going to feed the details into the system that means i am going to store it in the system similarly in the company when you are joining on the joining date you are giving so much data to them like you are filling the four four five forms along with your passport other card all this information you are giving the information once you fill the manual form the next step is they are going to register they are going to place those details into the system right so you are going to place the details they are going to place the details into the system now that is a lead nurturing lead nurturing now final is a lead conversion 
final is a lead conversion. Now deciding whether it is a converted or not. Lead conversion is nothing but whether this person is converted or not. That means that is a final stage. That is a final stage. Lead conversion is a final stage. Deciding that this person is going to continue for the next six months or a car is going to buy the product that is finalized or this person is going to stay in the company for a longer time, decided it. So that is the lead conversion. Lead conversion. So just an example, when you join a company, for first six months, you will be in the probation period. First six months, you will be in the probation period. Probation period is nothing but first six months, company is going to observe you. When you got a job, first six months, company is going to observe you. That means they, they, you have not converted the yet. You have not converted it. You have given the information to the company. Company has stored the information in the system. But they have given the time for you to six months to observation. That is called as a probation period. Probation period. So probation period is nothing but they are going to give you the six months time to look at your performance. Any company, this is a standard rule for any company. Whenever you join a company, first six months, few companies will have a first three months, few companies will have a first six months. So they are going to observe how you are doing it, right? With the, all the details, not only the technical behavior, they wanted to see your technical, you wanted, they wanted to see your communication skill, they wanted to see your uh, behavior, all these things they are going to observe. If you are doing good for the first six months, then you will be converted as a permanent employee. That means lead conversion is done. Permanent lead conversion is done. So these are the seven stages. These are the seven stages. Lead generation, lead capture, lead filtering, lead grading, lead contact, lead nurturing, lead conversion. What are the different type of lead cycle? Lead generation. Lead capture. Lead filtering. Lead grading. Lead contact. Lead nurturing. Contact. Lead conversion. Lead conversion. Lead capture. Lead filtering. Lead filtering. Grading. Lead grading. Lead contact. Lead contact. Sixth one. Lead nurturing. 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 Lead you, you, you might not be seeing in the record, like what is the outcome of lead generation? What is the outcome of lead capture? What is the lead outcome of lead filtering? You might not be seeing it. That is happening internally. That is happening internally, right? But this, every lead before converting it has to go through the cycle, has to go through the cycle. Now in Salesforce, how can I create a lead? In Salesforce, how can I create a lead? Now the navigation steps are navigation steps, log into Salesforce, log into Salesforce and open the marketing application. Open the marketing application, then click on Leads tab, Leads tab. And once you click on the Leads tab, you will see there, there is a button called New Button. So you need to click on New Button. Click on New Button on the Leads tab. Let's go ahead and see. 
here we have a lead step. I'm already in the marketing application. In the marketing application, click on a lead step. When you click on the lead step, you will see here button called new. You will see here button called new. Click on the new. So that means you are creating a new lead. Right now I'm creating a manual lead, but in the real time possibility that leads are coming with the, from the either web or either campaign or either walk-in, right? Leads can be generated from the different places. Leads can be generated from the different ways. Now, whenever you are creating a lead, there are four sections. Lead information, address information, additional information, description information. You will see lead information, address information, additional information, description information. These are the four sections you will be able to see. So here is the new lead, lead information, address information, additional information, description information. So total four sections are available. Now in this case, lead information is nothing but where you are going to provide the specific person details. Person, first name, last name, email ID, mobile number, right? So how did we receive the lead? What is the industry rating? Whether the person is really interested, dedicated or not? Address information is nothing but what is the person address information, additional information, you can capture more details, more details about the person, right? So this is not that important additional information. Description information is you can add more details. Let's take a, for example, let's take Ashwini. So Ashwini, so the last name is Ashwini and the company is, let's give it as an Infosys, right? Infosys and phone number is some phone number here. Email ID, let's give some email ID, ashwini at the red gmail.com, gmail.com. And the lead source, how did we hear it? Through the phone inquiry, through the web, or through the partner referral, or through the purchase list, or through the other. Let's assume that she heard it from the her friends, right? So I can give partner referral. Industry is... What is the industry? Industry is, let's give technology. Lead status, it is still the open contact. Rating, very much interested about the product. Address details and additional details if you want to give additional details. Now I'll give the description. Ashwini is interested to interested to interested to learn sales force and she is dedicated Okay, so let's click on save. Now the lead is created. Now the lead is created. I created a lead. Lead is Ashwini lead. And these are the phone numbers. These are the details. And now this is the industry. And this is the rating. And you can give number of employee. That should be fine. So... In real time, whatever the standard fields are there, you might not be using all the standard fields in the real time. Like number of employees, you might not be using in the real time. Right? Current generation, SI, SIC code, product interest, right? Primary. These details, you will not be using in the real time. Very rare project, it might be having it. But most of the project, we will not be using this SIC code. Salesforce is provided this field, but we do not use the SIC code, SIC code at all in the real time. Now, what I did, I just created the lead. I just created the lead by going to the navigation steps 
open the marketing application, click on the leads tab and click on the new button on the leads tab. Then I have given the information about the lead. Now, when you look at the lead here, you will see on the left side, there are four tabs are available. You will see there are four tabs. One is details, charter, news, activity. And the right side, you will see related. This is a standard layout. This is a standard layout. But you can modify as per the company's requirement. You can modify as per the company's requirement. Now, this is the detail section. So, detail section is where we have a, all the information about the lead. Now, this is the detailed information. You go to the activity. If you go to the activity, activity is nothing but what are the leads, what are the leads activities are happening on this lead. What are the activities happening on this lead? Like for example, I called Ashwini. I called Ashwini. So log a call. So option is log a call. Don't draw anything on the on the here screen. So Ashwini is there, right? So I'm going to call Ashwini. Log a call. That means I, I'm calling the Ashwini. Comment says updating or giving providing more information providing more information about the training so that means i'm going to call ashwini related to any account do we have any account right now i do not have so this is the call that i did it and click on save that means one activity happened. Now you will see here the activity happened on April 23 call. You logged a call. So what is the call details? It says now you can open this. If you open this description says that providing more information about the training. This is the call details. Let's assume that you sent an email to Ashwin. Let's assume that you sent an email. You sent an email. So from this is the one Ashwini. So let's give the email ID, my email ID, Samskar, it at the rate gmail.com. Now I'm sending an email to Ashwini. So I'll say that tomorrow we are starting a new batch. So I'll say that, hi Ashwini, tomorrow we are planning new we are planning new batch from 7 pm to 9 pm 7 pm to 9 pm or 7 am to 9 am or 8 am to 10 am now we will say that okay thank you now i am sending this email now click on Sapna for Salesforce. Sapna Salesforce. Now click on send. Click on send. I'm sending the details. As soon as I send the details, right? So that is another activity. Email is sent. Similarly, if you want to add a new task, you are adding a new task. New task is I sent an email, right? So the due date is Today only I have to send it. So I send the today email and then I logged a call here. So another activity is email. Similarly, I wanted to do another activity which is called as a uh, another call, whether she is joining or not. So to, tomorrow I need to confirm that and click on a save. That means tomorrow I'm going to call her saying that this is the upcoming task. This is the upcoming task. I'm yet to do this task, right? So these are the activities. Whatever the activities happening on the lead, whatever the activities are happening on the lead, those activities can be dragged into the here. Now, charter is, 
it's completely about the chat. Like you are adding, you are posting a, some message or you are adding a questions or you are adding a poll, right? So those are the different chat things. News is nothing but where it is linked to the Twitter by default. So if you want to link this person Twitter into the Salesforce, you can link it, which is available. Sign into, sign in with Twitter. If you click on this, it will ask your credentials where you can enter your credentials and then you can link your social media to the Salesforce. That's a news. Now we have created a lead here. I have created a lead. Now once the lead is created, once the lead is created, what is the final step we have? I just created a lead. What is the final step we have? In lead cycle. Lead conversion. Lead conversion. Lead conversion. conversion. Now I need to do the convert. Whatever the steps are there during the lead cycle, everything will be tagged, tracked on the lead level. Everything will be tracked on the lead level, like a lead generation, capturing, filter, grading, contact, nurturing, conversion, like everything, like we have a rating field is there, right? So here is the rating field in the lead level. So that is the one criteria. And similar like finance one, if you want to add any other finance details, you can add everything all this here. In case if you do not find finance is nothing but here annual revenue. So you can say that this person is very interested and annual, the price for the coaching is, this is whatever the amount is there, whether the person is able to pay or not, how much he is going to pay, everything you can add here. So let's assume that the person is paying the 10,000. Person is paying the 10,000. So you can say that, okay, this person is interested and he is paying the 10,000 amount, which is fine. So that means this person is right now is a genuine and she is really interested. She wanted to go for a course. So everything, all the steps are completed. Now, the last step is, now whenever I'm working on the lead, whenever I'm working on the lead, I'll say that working contact, that means I'm working on this particular contact. I'm working on particular contact. So you just need to click on this working contact and click on this mark status. Or else you can just update the lead status here. You have a lead status. If you say that, okay, I am done with all the steps on this, on this particular lead. So I'm closed and converted or not converted, whatever is there, you can take a steps. For example, I'm right now I'm working on the contact. Now I see that this contact is really good. Now I'm going to convert the lead. To convert the lead, either you can click on this converted. I can, you can click on this converted. When you click on this converted, it will say that select converted status, select converted status, or else click on this arrow mark. There is an option called convert. There is a option called convert. Either you can click on the convert button here, or you can click on a convert button here. Both the ways you can do. You can select the on the path, lead path. This is called as a lead path. Lead path. In the lead path, you can click on the converted button, converted option. You can click on, you can select this converted option and then click on the select converted status and then Select or click on select converted status. Click on select converted status. Click on converted status or else click on a menu item. Menu item on lead record now click on this item and you will see the last button is called as a convert click on convert button click on convert button anyone you can do that 
once you click on this button, that means right now this person is interested. We are ready to move this person as an opportunity. When you click on a convert, when you click on a convert, you will see that the screen is coming up like this. Convert lead. Convert lead. When we are converting the lead, it has a three objects which are linked to it. It is going to create an account. It is going to create an opportunity. It is going to create a contact. So that means along with the opportunity, it is creating the account and contact. When you convert it, once you convert it, that means final option is opportunity. Okay, that is we have to convert it. So when you are converting it, it is also asking that do you want to convert account and contact? So definitely we have to choose the account and con contact. That means during the conversion of lead, the lead gets converted to the account, the lead gets converted to the contact, the lead gets converted to the opportunity. Leads are converted to the account contact opportunity. When it is converted to the account contact opportunity, there are two boxes here. There are two boxes here. The first one is, do you want to create a new record? Do you want to create a new record while converting the lead? Whenever I'm converting the lead, do you want to go for a creating a new account, new contact, new opportunity or else? Do you want to choose the existing record? Do you want to choose the existing record? That is the second box. The first one is a cre creating a new one. The second one is a existing one. If, do you want to choose the existing one? Do you want to choose the existing one? If you want to choose the existing one, then you have to select this box. Select this radio button. When you select the radio button, related account is going to show here related account is going to show here similarly do you want to create a new contact or do you want to choose the existing now if you want to create a new contact you can choose it opportunity same thing do you want to create a new one or do you want to use the existing one now let's go ahead and see that let's go to the salesforce now here when i'm converting the lead account contact opportunity account is infosys now do i have a existing account called infosys now i'm selecting he here choose the existing one now i'm going to search here okay i do have a infosys company i already have a infosys record in my org i already have a account called infosys company so i'm choosing the existing account now contact, do you want to create a new contact or do you want to go for an existing contact? Do you want to create a new contact or do you want to go for an existing contact? No, I wanted to go for a new contact. I do not want to go for an existing. I'll choose the create a new radio option. Opportunity, opportunity also I wanted to go for a new opportunity. Now if you want a specific name for this, you can add the, your name, like for example, Infosys Opportunity. Infosys Opportunity. And then we have a converted status is closed converted. What is the status? The status is on the lead, lead level because whenever I'm converting it, while converting, once these steps are done, change the status to the closed converted. Change the status to the closed converted. Now you click on a convert. Once you click on a convert, now you will see that your lead has been converted to the account, contact, right? Account, contact, opportunity. Account is Infosys, the existing, com existing account. Contact is a new one. Opportunity is a new one. Opportunity is a new one. Now, it, the data is automatically captured from the lead. Whenever it is creating a new record, 
in the opportunity or in the contact, we have a fields, right? Account name, phone name, email ID, mobile number, address, what are the details are there? Everything will be captured from the need record. Everything is captured from the need record. Now it is converted, lead has been successfully converted to the account contact opportunity. Lead has been successfully converted to the lead, uh, successfully converted to the account contact opportunity. Account contact opportunity. Any question till this point? Any questions? I'm good, ma'am. Okay, offline. Line is clear. Charter box is, okay, charter box is like a kind of a WhatsApp messages, posting some message, posting a message in the group, posting a message to the individual person. Charter is similar like a WhatsApp messages only. Like Salesforce is also have, if you want to talk to anybody, the person who is sitting different company, okay, you, you want to, chat with a client okay when you want to chat with a client so what you can do is you can tag that person i can you can inform that person issue is resolved can you check this similar like a whatsapp opportunity is opportunity is nothing but now let's see opportunity. Okay, hold on that. Now let me close this. Now we are converting the lead. Once we convert account contact opportunity, as soon as I convert the opportunity, now click on go to leads. Now whatever the lead that I have created, whatever the lead that I have created, I cannot see that lead anymore. I cannot see that lead anymore. Once it is converted, the lead gets deleted from the lead object. Once the lead is converted, the lead is deleted from object. Now I cannot see Ashwini here. I created a Ashwini lead, but I cannot see Ashwini lead here. It's sorting with alphabet order. I cannot see Ashwini lead. Now, if I go to the contact, if I go to the contact, now in the contact, I can see Ashwini. I can see Ashwini. If I go to the account, account also, I can see the details. Account also, I can see the, I can see the details. Now, if I go to the opportunity, opportunity is nothing but here is the opportunity, the one which I have converted, the one which I have converted. Now, opportunity is nothing but the person is almost, I mean, he is ready to take. I got a one opportunity. I got a lead is become an opportunity. Lead became an opportunity. That means now we are going to get the amount from the person, amount from the person for which product. Now, if you look at the opportunity, opportunity is connected to the product. Now, here, this stage, I can know that this person, now whenever the lead is converted to the opportunity, now this opportunity is linked to the product and it is linked to the amount and is linked to the expected revenue. Expected revenue, right? Initial stage, whenever it is converted the opportunity, it is a prospecting. It is still a prospecting. That means it is an interested person. It is not yet decided that he is going to buy it. It is still a prospecting it. Prospecting but we, are, we know that person is going to buy a product. We know that person is going to buy a product. Now it is converted to the opportunity. Once it is converted to the opportunity, 
now the company is are going to have a conversation with the client because now i know that this person is interested now they will be explaining most of the details about the product and they will say now from the prospect they will take them to the qualification 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 is nothing but they are getting a more information about it need analysis nothing but they need some more analysis they have to do so value proposition these all are see this path whatever you are seeing it in real time it not it might not be same because we do not use id decision make you can or you can customize your sales board this is the standard one but you can always have a customization whatever is salesforce providing it that is those are the standard one but it's not necessary that i use all of the pick list values for the my real time project it's not true they might be having a every individual project or every individual company have their own way of dealing the opportunities their own way of dealing the opportunities now prospecting qualification need analysis right so finally negotiation that means i know this product is going to buy the this person now finally i do the negotiation right so when you like in when you go to the top right or anything you are buying a some tv or fridge anything you are buying it right you know you wanted to buy it you know that okay but you you are looking for the multiple options but you want to take that so that means you are a lead and lead has been converted to the opportunity when after few discussions with the customers now that client is going to have a few discussion with the customers then finally they will understand that the shopkeeper or a, whoever is selling the product they will understand that this person really wanted to buy but there is some confusion for this person so that means they they know that okay this lead is going to be become an opportunity that means he is going to pay the amount that means he is going to pay the amount now once that person is i know that then i'll convert the lead to the opportunity in the opportunity the main thing that is happen is negotiation i know the product they are going to buy but only the confusion they have is about the amount the price price of the product right so that's how the negotiation happens now either i'll give a 5% discount 10% discount or some maybe i can reduce it based on the vip or based on the uh, daily customer or every time they wanted to buy they will buy it from the same company same company brand and same store so based on that we will give some discount so all this negotiation happens in the opportunity all this negotiation happens on this opportunity from the opportunity itself i know that which product this person is buying it which product this person is buying it so from the opportunity i know the product i know the how much negotiation is done whether how much discount we have given and finally how much amount the person has paid and what we expected a revenue out of this product if i sell this product what am i expecting the revenue so there must be some um, some something will be there in their mind as per the product price so am i selling the same product price or am i selling the am i selling the below the product price by giving the discount everything will be mentioned in the opportunity is that clear opportunity balu okay so if suppose need to show lead contact in both new and existing account how can we do that what do you mean by new and existing account okay, while converting the lead you are asking are you asking while converting the lead you wanted to show both existing and new yes ma'am yes now let's go ahead and create that so now i have a few leads here so let me open one lead let me create a new one so let's copy this 
Um, I'll clone this lead. Give it here, one, two, one, two, click on it, save. This is the lead. Now I wanted to convert this lead. So I'll click on this convert. Now you cannot choose the two options here. Radio button, wherever you see radio button, not only the sales force, even wherever in the banking you see radio buttons does not, have, you cannot select more than one option. You cannot select more than one option. But again, if you want to default, you cannot show. You have to search it here. There are multiple accounts are there. If you want to convert a specific similar account to I, do I have in the existing system, you need to search that. You cannot display both of them together, which is not possible. Because if, he, if I have to choose that, the default search is not available by the Salesforce. Sometimes what happens is you will see that same name is available three contacts, four contacts, five contacts, might possible that 10, 10 accounts has the same name. Whatever the name is there, the same name, it starts with the 10 accounts. Now Salesforce cannot give me the 10 account details here, right? Which is a, which is like, if, we, if they show us the 10 records or 20 records or 30 records, now they do not want to show that. But some scenarios, what happens is, though it is saying this former group, but while converting it, they will say that choose the account which is related to the Infosys, which is related to the Infosys. Do not choose the account former because we are converting all our accounts from the former to the Infosys. That is the another real-time scenario which I have seen. So whenever we are converting it, whatever the account name is there in the lead, the company name is there in the lead, that company name, they do not want to use the same company name while converting it. While converting it, they wanted to use the different company name. They wanted to use a different company name. So I can select here Infosys company. So both at a time, I cannot show. Is that clear? Okay, yeah, it's clear. How to go lead path? Can you say navigation steps? Okay. This is the default navigation steps, navigation path. Okay. As soon as you open any lead, you this is by default, Salesforce is providing it. By default, Salesforce is providing it. So this is Salesforce is providing. If you open any lead, you can see this. How to set this lead path, everything, Right now, it is too early for everybody. So wait for that. How to implement a lead path, we will see that later. I cannot show right now because it will be confusing for everyone. But whenever you click on any lead, you, you click on any lead, you will be able to see the lead path. Similarly, on the opportunity also, you will be able to see opportunity path. This is called opportunity path. Now, this is customizable. This is customizable. You can create it. How to do this? You, we will see that later part. Why app is not visible? Because we are in the marketing cloud. We are in the marketing application. So marketing application has a campaign, lead, contact, opportunity. You cannot see the account by default, but if you want, you can customize it. If you want, you can customize it. For example, from the opportunity, I wanted to open the account. You can open the account. There is a no restriction that I cannot open the account details in the marketing application. You can open that. But by default, marketing application only gives the tabs related to the campaign, lead, contact, opportunity. These are the one you will see. Account you will not see by default, but if you search here in the apps, if you want to open the accounts, you can open the accounts. That is a customizable. Okay. Yes. Any other questions? 
ma'am uh, this activity that we are creating right that will be created by in general like uh, in real scenario that will be created by client right campaigns are created by client or else campaign is provided by client you might have to do it okay and the lead whenever the, the leads are created if client side you have a admin team if you have a admin team client people client member client will be doing the converting lead but if they say that if they are facing any issue then they will ask you that can you try to do the convert i'm not doing it i'm not able to do that so client might raise a issue or a ticket saying that for this particular lead we are not able to convert the lead there might be a some problem in that case developer has to jump in Now, from the campaign also, you can create a lead here. You have a campaign member, you have a add leads. You can create it. Either you can create it or you can add it. So, for example, I'm adding a lead here. Right? So, member status is sent. Keep member status. Override the member status. Every time I wanted to keep the member status as it is a send or do you want to override, you can override. So, click on it, submit. Now, if you click on the campaign members, now there are three campaign members. One is a lead and two are contact. Type is a type is going to tell you that in the campaign member, which one is the lead, which one is a contact. Campaign member has a type. If type says lead, that means that is a lead. If type says contact, that means that is a contact. Override is nothing but the status right now it is a send. The status right now it is a send. Now later I wanted to modify. Automatically I wanted to like whenever it says that respond. Okay. Whenever I the user has responded it. Whenever the user has responded it, I wanted to override this status. I wanted to override this status. Whatever the status is there, I wanted to change that. Which is called overriding the status. Any other questions? That means uh, the status changes automatically, right? Override. Uh, Salesforce has given that option. Okay, I'm not sure whether it is automated or not, but they have given the option to override. And it is showing here, responded, one person has responded and three members are sent. We'll see that override whether it is automation or not tomorrow. Any other questions? So, so far, marketing cloud architecture is campaign. We created the campaign from the campaign. We converted to the lead, right? We converted to the lead. We got the leads, not the converted. We got the leads from the campaign. And whenever we receive the leads, from the leads, as soon as we create a lead, we have a lead cycle. We have seen the seven stages of lead cycle. Initially, campaign is created, then from the campaign, we captured the lead. For all those leads, we have to go through the lead cycle. And each lead is will be converted to the account contact opportunity. Account contact opportunity. Right? So, this will happen. Right? So, will... From the campaign, we are getting the lead. Lead will be lead cycle. We are doing the lead cycle here. From the lead, we are converting the lead to the account contact opportunity. We are converting the lead to the opportunity at the same time to account and contact. This is the architecture. In the real time also, we will do this architecture. Now, 
from the campaign you can connect to the contact also from the campaign you can connect to the leads also like in the campaign we have a campaign member in within the from the campaign member you can add a contact you can add a lead and you can create a campaign members so that's about the marketing cloud architecture now this we will see tomorrow homework create a following four leads create a following four leads first three leads are convert to opportunity first three leads are convert to opportunity fourth one should have customer master data but not opportunity what is customer master data here what is customer master uh customer master is uh, data customer data which does not change very static but frequently used lead data lead name customer master is nothing but account and contact customer master yesterday we have seen the master tables customer table and the product table customer master is nothing but account and contact yesterday we have seen the so customer master is nothing but account and contact account and contact now whenever i am converting here so we have a customer data as well as the opportunity now let's assume that when i am converting it the person is interested the person is really interested but the person does not want to join right now does not want to buy a product right now but he wanted to get a updates of the product he wanted to get a updates of the training that means this person is a lead that we have received it but he is not going to go further might be going further later that means the, right now i got a lead now this person is really interested to learn right now but because of family issues or some finance issues he might join in the next batch the person might join in the next batch that means we should not be converting that person to opportunity right now when that person should go for a opportunity next time when the person will actually join the join the batch then that time we wanted to go for it so right now what we can do is in order to close this lead we can say that create a account and contact but do not convert this do not convert the opportunity do not create a opportunity at all for this particular lead this particular lead do not create a opportunity so in that case we say that convert as a customer but do not convert it as a opportunity now if i click on a convert right now opportunity i cannot see the opportunity because i checked this only account and contact customer details are created customer master details are created but no opportunity here now go to the leads now i cannot see that lead but if i go to the contact i can see the contact which is called the same person opportunity i cannot see the opportunity because we have checked it do not convert the opportunity so that's the same homework create a following four leads so we have a four leads here messi christina robin right andrea these are the four customers four leads are there these are the four leads so out of these four leads out of these four leads three leads are converted to the opportunity three leads are converted to the account contact opportunity fourth one is should be converted to the only to account and contact no opportunity no opportunity no opportunity so that is the number will you guys able to do that yes yes sir offline okay so now let's this is the homework the questions what is a lead 
Any inquiry to the business? Quiet. All three? Any, any, any inquiry to your business? Any inquiry to business, which one? It can be all three, ma'am. No, any inquiry to your business. Any inquiry to business, ma'am. It is any inquiry to business. Simple for people, I cannot say lead. If the people are doing an inquiry, only I can say that that person is a lead. Now the next one, lead cycle means Lead cycle. Lead cycle means second. Lead cycles or status follow during the option two. Right. So lead cycle stages followed during the lead conversion process. While converting the lead, what options do we have to specify? Contact account opportunity. Those converted. Starting. While converting the lead, what option do we have to specify? Contact account opportunity. Contact opportunity. Account, contact, contact opportunity. Account, contact opportunity. Account, contact opportunity. Sales force releases are. Oh, this year. Summer. Summer. Yes. Don't know. Let me ping you this trial head links. I will send that video how to create trial head and everything. I will include it. Thank you. So here, go to the Google and search for a trial head and you will see that the first option is called trial head, the fun learn, the way of learning. Now here, click on this login or if you are doing it for the first time, click on a sign up. Click on sign up and give the your credentials if you have already salesforce credentials you can link your salesforce credentials to trial head okay or else if you want to create a new one you can create a new one now do not have your pre-trial result account sign up you can simply click on this google and log in with your salesforce account and then you connect your salesforce account to the trial head so let's say, for example, sign up Salesforce. Now I want to use, I don't know which one is this. So I wanted to go for April batch. So, no. so for example, I'm going with the Samskara IT because I already have. So click on login. Can you use them and tell her if you have already have it? Yeah, you can use it. No, I'm not able to connect it, but uh, so you have to connect that way. Okay. Okay. We'll try. 
if you if any questions uh, we can discuss tomorrow sounds thank you ma'am have a good day yeah thank you yeah thank you ma'am